Right then, welcome back. I have just received another interesting delivery from the postman, this time in the form of a blue Hoka One One box. Let's open it up and see what we've got. <clears throat> so there we have it. It is the Hoka One One Carbon X shoe. Let's get on to first impressions. This will be my first time running in the Hoka shoe. I've wanted to try them for a while, but I've just never got around to it. And finally, I managed to find a pair of my size. So what I actually did in these is I have sized up half a size. So usually my running shoes are a UK 13. I was recommended to go for a 13 and a half in these. So hopefully they'll fit okay, but apparently they're quite small fitting compared to something like Nike. They're something a little bit more like Adidas fitting, which in my experience uh, fit about half a size smaller than Nike. So I opted for a really light colorway for the summer. So a lot of my shoes are really dark and I just figured as it's summer, I go for something a bit lighter. I did have some white shoes around the winter time and they lasted all of about five minutes. First run in the rain, absolutely ruined. So um, yeah, fair weather shoes, these ones. Uh, I do really like the colors. I think they stand out nicely. First thing that I noticed is the shoe is really light. Let's just get rid of this. It's probably adding a gram or two. Uh, yeah, so it does, it feels really nice and light. The material is light. There's not much flex in the material. Don't know if you can see here, but the bottom of the sole, you can see all the way through to the carbon fibre plate, which is pretty cool. I just hope I don't stand on any sharp stones that damage that. The one thing that I would comment on though, and that's just really the way that the Hoka branding is almost just dyed into the shoe. It just doesn't look all that great quality. The upper material is all one piece. It feels, it feels thin. There's not much flex in it, but it feels pretty good quality. Uh, there's a heel tab there, although it's probably a little bit oversized. I'm sure you could shave that down and uh, reduce it by a gram or so. You can really feel the carbon fibre plate there. There's almost no give whatsoever in the sole. I imagine that as you're transitioning uh, into your torf, there'll be a massive amount of propulsion and uh, springiness in that torf. So I'll be interested to see just how much speed that you can get out of these. It's interesting on the bottom as well, you'll see there's no outsole rubber. It's mainly just this whole bottom section is created of a single piece of rubber. Now I'm not gonna go into all the details of the materials that make this up and all that sort of stuff. As always, I'll just be talking about my own impressions, the look, the feel, and that sort of thing. So I'll be very interested to see just how that wears over time in terms of the eyelets and the lacing system. Traditional lacing, and the good thing about these is it's got the uh, the double eyelet at the top there, so that'll be good for the runner's knot. I find in my shoes a lot of the time that I struggle to get a secure fit around the back of the heel. And so what I've taken to doing in most of my shoes is applying the runner's knot to really get a secure fit around the heel and the top of the foot. And the laces themselves aren't anything special, just bog standard white laces. They do loop through the tongue, which will help to secure the tongue in place. And also, I don't know if you can see inside there, but the, the tongue itself is secured to the inside of the shoe to stop it from moving around, which is good. There's some padding around the back of the heel there, which should hopefully give quite a comfortable fit. Right, so I'm gonna give these a try on. Excuse my nice colorful socks. Right, so that's gone on without much problem. Perfect sizing. And so there we are, we've gone on without any problems and they actually feel, feel pretty good. It's immediately noticeable that they're not a soft and really cushioned shoe. They feel quite sturdy. So that carbon fiber plate is really giving you a sturdy rock from the heel towards the forefoot. And you can just imagine as you're running how that's going to feel and propelling you forward. Something similar to like maybe the Zoom Fly from uh, Nike or the Vapor Fly. Very different feel to the Vapor Fly though. That almost feels like you're standing on a spoon and getting propelled forward. Whereas this feels like much more of a natural transition from the back to the front of the foot. Now there's a little bit of material creasing around the front here, but nothing 
too worrying. Uh, I've got quite wide feet and so you can see my feet are bulging out slightly here but where the upper is attached to the midsole it feels fairly sturdy so I don't think there's going to be much of a problem. You've got a little bit of room at the front here again I've sized up half a size um, if I'd gone down any smaller I wouldn't have much room for maneuver there so my feet expand when I run so I would worry that any smaller than this and my big toe would be bashing against the front of the shoe here and causing me blisters and problems. I can feel my toes almost a thumbnail's length from the entire front of the shoe as you can see there seems to be a lot of extra material in the toe box here so as I'm bending, my toe is right towards the front, but I'm getting this bit of material just sticking up, a bit of excess there. I don't imagine that that'll cause any problems in performance, however. Around the middle of the foot feels pretty comfortable. There's not a lot of give in the material, but that's not to say it's not comfortable. Right, so I can feel an ever so slight bit of movement around the back of the heel here. And that may be because I haven't secured the laces enough, but I think what I'm going to do very quickly is just apply the runner's knot just to see if that goes. If you don't know how to do this, leave a comment down below and I'll, uh, I'll put a video up. So there we go, if you can see. It's just created another loop there and then pulled the laces through that. And that's it, it's pretty much got rid of all of that movement, which is spot on really. I'll just do the same on the other foot before I run. And even just applying that there, I can immediately feel that the right foot is much more secure in place now compared to the left. And so I'll just do the same thing. Runner's not on the left shoe, it'll be perfect. So just walking around and they feel really light, which is great. I'm not actually sure of what the weight is. Again, I'm just going off look and feel. I'm not gonna go into all the statistics. I'm sure there's many other YouTube videos out there which will tell you all of that sort of stuff. All right, so there we go. First impressions are great. Light shoe, comfortable, nice and sturdy. I'm not sure how they're gonna be on those longer runs. Probably keep them for faster tempo runs, um, interval training, speed training, that sort of thing. But we will give them a test ride tomorrow and see how they fare. All that's left for me to do now is to lay them out with my kit and come back and see you in the morning. See you then. Right then, here we are, 6.45, get this done. Right, first kilometer in then. Very first impressions. So the midsoles don't feel all that soft or cushioned. You can certainly feel that carbon fiber plate. I'm not going very fast, just taking it nice and easy. So I'm not sure how this shoe will do on longer runs, whether it'll remain comfortable. I mean, no problems with that so far, but you can just tell they're not a cushioned shoe. They're perhaps better suited for speed. Now the fit is nice and secure. I've got a nice hold around the back of the ankle, so I applied the runner's knot, which just gives that little bit of extra security and stops the ankle from moving up and down. So no problems at all, no slippage. And you can actually feel the padding around the ankle as well, so it feels nice and comfortable, snug and secure. I feel like I've got plenty of room in the toe box. The material around the front, there's not much give in it, so you can sort of feel that there but that's not uncomfortable. In terms of the actual feel of the toe off, you can certainly feel that little bit of springiness, that little bit of propulsion from the carbon fiber plate. And it's almost a little bit like the Nike Zoom Fly, but arguably a lot more sturdy with that security of the fit around the back in particular. If you compare to something like the Zoom Fly Finite, which I've got, the sock-like fit of that compared to the locked-in fit of this, this is a lot more stable, secure and comfortable. And I feel like I'm getting a decent amount of energy return from the plate. The shoes feel really stable, so tight turns aren't a problem. You don't feel like your foot is slipping off the midsole or the sole. I feel nice and well held in place. So I think a course with lots of corners and turns should not be a problem. 
So I've got quite wide feet, particularly at the front, and when I run, they expand even further. So that extra bit of space that I showed in the intro around the toe box is actually welcome for me. It just means that my toes aren't bashing against the front of the shoe or the side of the shoe. And right, I'm three and a half kilometers in at a nice steady warm up pace. So now we're pretty much gonna give them a go at an all out sprint. Ready? Go. Now I pretty much went all out there for 200, 250 meters or so. And they picked up the pace really well, felt really fast. The only problem I felt was that the front of my foot, so going back to the point about the space in the toe box, great when you're running slower, but when I was really giving it some, my foot was sort of bashing back and forward a bit. Now it may have been because I was running downhill, so my toe was kind of sliding towards the front of the shoe, but yeah, it didn't feel all that great really really sprinting i've got the start of a strava segment coming up it's about two and a half kilometers i think the record is around 350 a kilometer so i'm going to pick the pace up try and hold it around 345 and just see how we go see how it feels over that slightly longer slightly more pushed pace here we go Right, and so that was about two, two and a half kilometers, I think, of a Strava segment. I think I managed to hold around about 3.45. Now the shoes picked up the pace really well. The only thing I did find though, was when I was really pushing, I was getting a bit of friction underneath my forefoot. Now maybe I need to get a bit more of a secure fit towards the bottom of the laces. But yeah, it wasn't necessarily uncomfortable. But I can imagine if you were pushing that for maybe a 10k race or a half marathon, it would become a little bit uncomfortable. Coming up to the 11 kilometer mark now, so overall impressions. They are pretty comfortable. They perform well at a speed of around 4.30 to five minutes a kilometer. Picking up the pace for those faster kilometers. Picked up the pace, no problem. The only discomfort that I found was that friction under the front of my foot. And my foot was sliding back and forward into that quite wide and big toe box. Around the back and sides, super comfortable. No complaints for that whatsoever. So I'm looking forward to trying the shoe out on various different types of training runs. I think they might perform quite well in intervals if I can just get a little bit more of a secure fit around the lacing area to stop that foot from sliding back and forward. All right, we're just coming in for the finish. And that is it, 12 kilometers, 55 minutes. So yeah, overall thoughts then. Uh, we've done a little bit of everything. We've done a bit of slow running, faster pace, done a bit of sprinting, bit of intervals, bit of ups, bit of downs, twists and turns. In terms of stability, fantastic. So they really grip around your heel. You don't feel like you're going to slide off the sole or slide off the carbon fibre plate, which I do find in some of the other carbon fibre race shoes, such as the Vaporfly or the Zoomfly. At the steady pace of, say, 4.45 minutes per kilometre, I felt comfortable just sitting pretty there. One thing that I did find was when picking up the pace and doing, uh, I did a, a fast uh, two and a half kilometres which I found <clears throat> I was getting a bit of friction under the forefoot and around the little toe. Now, perhaps that's down to my lace is not quite being tight enough. So uh, I'm going to give that uh, a bit of playing around with just to try and get that right. Overall, though, I think new shoe feel. They just need bedding in a little bit. Uh, but really happy to have them in the rotation. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments below, let me know what you think, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, wherever that is on the screen, and I will see you on the next video. Yo!